Hello everybody. Welcome back to the Technoli channel. Today we've got something very exciting. This is a little Dell Optiplex 7020. And this is a Haswell. This is an i5. It's a Haswell chipset. And man, does this thing run fast. And for $150, yes, you too can have one of these and I'm going to show you how to get one and the EFI for this will be available uh, on my website on the download page technoli.com. Let me show you what you want to get besides just the tower. All right let me open up the side here. Okay I did pick up it's a little dark. I picked up one of these Radeon 460 two gigabyte cards. They're about $45. And we've got right there an SSD. So that was for a 256, like $15. This came with eight gigabytes. And right there are the, the RAMs. And uh, there's four slots. So you can upgrade these things very easily. And it's built like a tank. So uh, you'll get a lot of use out of it. Okay, guys, here we are. And uh, let's just go over to eBay. And let me show you these things. Yeah, I got one right here. Now this one here, you have to be careful. Some of these don't have memory. Hard drive we don't care about because we're going to get an SSD. But this one here, 64 bucks, and that is with free shipping. You would have to get, uh, you know, like eight gigs of RAM or 16, it'd be even better. So this would be cheap, because uh, you're gonna add 45 plus 15. So you'd be under 150 on this one. So let me just put in here, oh here, I already got the link. Okay, so some of these people are getting way too much money for these. Like here, a hundred bucks. Yeah, it comes with eight gigs, but they want twenty-one dollars shipping. This here is uh, a decent deal because you could pick up another four gig stick cheap. Um, this is an even better deal. So just just keep looking for these. Here's here's a great deal. Forty-five plus thirty-two shipping comes with eight gigs. Um, keep looking on these. For these and then the Radeon graphics card, uh, Radeon 460, uh, 45 bucks. There you go. That, I've bought several of these. They work great and they work for Ventura. So there you go. You know, for about 150 bucks, you can be into one of these. Now on uh, my Technoli site. You're going to be able to just go over here to downloads and pick up the free EFI right here. Now on this particular computer, I want you to upgrade the BIOS to A18. Um, it just works 100% better. And I'm going to show you the BIOS settings right now on this because it's very important. So let's just go right out of here restart and on these you press the F2 key uh, as soon as this thing goes black I'm going to start pressing F2 we'll get into the bias let me show you what's going on there okay so you come down here um, right up here is my BIOS version A18 and if you know how to do BIOS upgrades, it's a good idea to do that. Boot sequence. We definitely just want EFI right here. Boot options. And uh, right here you want to enable legacy option ROMs. Uh, we don't need to worry about this. System config. Yes, we've got the uh, Ethernet turned on and it works. We want to disable all serial ports okay and then under here USB just make sure they're all on and of course the audio we want uh, under video we don't need to worry about it because we're going to use that Radeon card until we can come up with a way to get the onboard to work which I'm working on um, 
And then under security, uh, nothing in here needs to be messed with. Uh, you can leave everything by default. Secure boot, we want it disabled. Performance, let me get up here so you can see it. Everything here is fine the way you see it. Power management, we don't need to worry about. And virtual support down here. Go ahead and disable uh, the VTD, all right? And you can leave on vir virtualization. So that's it on that. Um, when you boot this up and you do the first round with the stick, I'm gonna show you something else. Okay, I'm gonna go down here and boot from the USB UEFI. And I'm gonna go ahead and do a fresh install because I want to show you a problem that I had. I don't want you to get hung up on it. So when this goes through its whole process and does the first reboot, I'm gonna show you what it does. Okay, so what it's gonna do is get stuck. Sometimes it'll have a, a circle um, that says Dell, and it'll get stuck on the first reboot of installation. So what you have to do is completely shut the computer off, then turn it back on, and then select uh, Mac OS installer when it comes back up to the uh, open core screen, the boot menu, and then select that and it'll continue working just fine. But it got stuck for me twice on the Dell circle or this screen right here. And uh, I just had to shut it down. Okay. All right. Okay. Gonna come back up here. All right, and I want to show you guys one more thing um, on the website now. A lot of you guys have been requesting that uh, I start selling EFIs again. And I was reluctant to do it, but I decided I would go ahead and do it for one reason. So... All of the videos that I do, like this one here, where I do a video and of course YouTube pays me, I get paid a little bit of money each month on my YouTube channel. And so it kind of helps pay for parts and things like that because everything that you guys see me do, most of it, I'm paying for the parts. So on those right here, you're always gonna have free EFI folders. These here, right here, purchase a requested EFI. So I've only got one up here right now. I've got a, I've got a lot coming, but you'll be able to purchase EFIs here that I have tested. I will only sell uh, EFIs that I have personally installed. That way I know that you guys are not gonna have any issues. Um, and the reason that I sell them is because of the cost of purchasing motherboards and CPUs and things like that. So, you know, I, I still want to be able to offer good service to people. And a lot of people have been wanting me to offer EFIs and everything. And so I decided I would go ahead and, and offer it this way only. And also, there's no refunds, but if you cannot get the OS installed, when you purchase one of my EFIs, then I'll give you a $25 credit toward another service, which would be like, you know, uh, get the OS installed or Zoom support or something like that so we can get you guys up and running. All right, all right, enough of that. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this little short video. Um, I just thought it would be great to get more people into the Hackintosh world with something very inexpensive. And on my last video that I asked everybody, you know, what would they like to see? A lot of them requested low end, you know, good running computers running Hackintosh. So there we go, guys. Thanks so much for watching. Please subscribe to the channel if you haven't already.
I certainly appreciate it. And uh, we'll see you next week on another video.